What's going on people, Ryan Williams ASC here with your match preview. It's Arsenal hosting Leeds at the Emirates Stadium. Now, if you're new to the channel, please make sure you like, share and subscribe. Guys, thanks again to the new subscribers, of course, supporting the channel. Leave your comments at the bottom. I'd love to know your thoughts on this video, the team selection, and as well, the scoreline prediction or what you think may or may not happen at the Emirates tomorrow. So... We are back-to-back -back losses. Um, of course, Wolves and Aston Villa, those games, not exactly positive. Um, Leeds, however, have won their last game against Crystal Palace. And they are above us in the table. Now, we need to win. There's no answers. There's no questions. There's no, we need to win. If we've got any hope, of trying to catch up to the teams above us, then we need to start sorting it out now. Because again, like I said in the previous video, the games are going to get harder. Manchester City, we got after Leeds. Then we got Leicester. If you exclude the Benfica Europa League tie out of it, because we're just going to strictly talk about the league, it's going to be tough. We have to look at guys like Rafinha, Patrick Bamford, or Rodrigo, at Dallas, and Alianski. And Alianski actually apparently come out and made comments this week, speaking to Patrick Bamford and saying he can't wait for the Arsenal game because he would love to reunite with Nicolas Pepe. And of course, we all remember what happened with Nicolas Pepe in the previous picture, nil nil at Ellen Road, where Pepe stu stupidly got himself sent off with, you know, arguments and the headbutt with Alyonski. So, he's up for it. Are we up for it? Now, this is what I want to know from this Arsenal squad because, again, like I just said, we need to win. A draw is unacceptable. We need to win. Okay? This will be tough. Leeds are very good going forward. We know defensively they're open as well. So, is there a chance here? And, you know, we have to be on our guard because Leeds are not mugs, you know, they can get at, get at us, you know, but we can get at them. So, of course, team news, we know Tierney is still not ready, and it seems like Thomas Partey will be joining Kieran Tierney and not participating in this game. So, it's still going to be tough without Tierney, and now it's going to be extra tough without Thomas Partey. So, this is going to be my starting eleven. Um, in goal, it's going to be tough because do you bring back Bert Leno? Now, of course, he is the number one goalkeeper. However, he got himself stupidly sent off against Wolves by making that stupid mistake. And Matt Ryan, last week against Aston Villa, although he did concede a goal on his debut, not really his fault, to be honest, should he retain his place in the goal? Now, we do have... The Europa League coming back. So possibly I'd give Leno a chance to redeem himself. You know, usually I'd be against it. But I think maybe we could take a risk. Just maybe. So Leno, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have you come and go for this one. The back line, the back four. Now for me, it's, it's, it's just, this is how it has to be. In the right back position. But, um, but. Hector Bellerin, of course, right back. Alongside him, the two centre-backs, I think it's going to have to be Rob Holden. And hopefully he's back in Pablo Mari. I think Gabriel has looked like he's fell off a cliff a little bit. So I'm going to be a little bit... I'm going to take him out the side, which I think is a little bit wall, you know. But Rob Holden has done well. You know, the Villa game, there was a few spots where it's like, mm, but ultimately, he's been our best defender, you know, up there, you know. Uh, alongside him, I'm going to have to go Pablo and Mary because that partnership seems to be the best partnership so far. You know, we haven't, we hadn't conceded many goals. I think we only conceded one goal since that partnership had formed. And we were doing very well in that seven game on beat and run. And we only conceded the goal against Chelsea. And that was it, where it started. So, you know, them two, 
that should be the partnership going forward until you know till something happens or touch wood nothing does um left back for me it's gonna have to be cedric there's nothing no one else that could play that role obviously tierney's still out saka i would not put him there unless cedric has another bad performance hopefully not but cedric needs to get himself into gear and show Mikel Arteta why he needs to be in the starting eleven. Because for me, if Tierney was fit, I'd have Cedric starting over Bellerin. It's as simple as that. But that is not the case right now. So, the midfield. Now, this is where I feel we need to be very, very careful. Because, again, Leeds have a very, very good attack. And they like to press high. So, it's going to be tough. It's going to be tough. So, for me... In that midfield, I'm going to have to pick Granit Xhaka and Mohamed Elneny. I know there are some folks that feel Sabayas should get a go, but I feel Sabayas takes too long on the ball, whether he, to, to distribute, distribute it, sorry. And, you know, his, his passing is decent, but he always turns back into goal. And I'm worried that he'll just get pressed and make a mistake because we've seen it with Sabayas too many times. And I know I just picked Granit Xhaka and you think, well, Xhaka kind of does that. But Xhaka, you know, in recent weeks has done okay. He's done fairly all right, you know. And Mohamed Elneny is the safeguard. I mean, to be honest, who would you put there? I know there's a lot of shouts for Martin Odegaard to start alongside him. But in the 4 2 3 one that I want to play, I don't personally feel that Odegaard should be playing next to Granit Xhaka. So... You know, Odegaard should be playing in a number 10 spot. So, for me, in the 4-2-3-1, the formation that I'm picking, Xhaka and Elneny, they're sitting. Now the three in the 4-2-3-1. Um, number 10, might as well start with it. I'm going to persist with a Mel Smith row. I feel until he is tired and knackered, then we bring on an Odegaard. I feel a Mel Smith row hasn't warrant any reason to be dropped or to come off. So, for me, I think he should retain his place. Um, on the right-hand side, I'm going to continue with Bakayo Saka, who's been a breath of fresh air for us. I mean, whenever Saka plays, he's pretty much our best player, let's be honest, and our best attacker. So, for me, Saka, he has to start. There's no guarantee. There's no, there's no talking on that one. Um, on the left, I'm going to have to say Pepe. I don't think Aubameyang warrants being on the left, or even starting, for that matter. Because for me, Aubameyang, when he's come on in the Villa game and in the Wolves game, he's done absolutely nothing. Yes, he's our club captain, but I'm sorry, he needs to be doing something. And yes, I know we were down to 10 men against Wolves and then suddenly nine. So yeah, but within the space of Leno not getting sent off, what did he do? He didn't do anything. And in Villa, what did he do? He didn't do anything. I barely remember a Bamian getting any touches on the ball. And I'm not getting at him. But it's just fair criticism. And I just feel a Bamian hasn't done anything to warrant a spot. This season, what he's done, hasn't warranted a spot to be in the starting eleven. So, Nicolas Pepe, right now, he started to get going. And we need some consistency for him. And for me, look, I've been Pepe's biggest critic. And he need, he, he's, he's been keeping me a little bit quiet lately. But he needs to keep me quiet. And he needs to show me why I feel that we shouldn't cash in on him. So, Pepe, go out there and prove me wrong. Go out there and take the game by the scruff of the neck. And again, Ali honestly has been waiting for you. So, get some revenge on him. Not violently, but getting some goals and assistance. That's what I want for me. That's what the fan base wants for me. Simple as that. Now up top, um, I just said a bad man for me doesn't warrant a start. Lacazette doesn't really warrant a start for me either. But at the same time, he does do quite a bit. And I was very, very annoyed with Lacazette's performance um, against Aston Villa where he was pretty much everywhere but centre forward because... Why are you defending? Why are you covering Bellerin? Why are you right back? Why are you centre mid? I saw him in so many places, but the guy works hard. And again, where Leeds like to press high up 
And, you know, Lacazette likes to feed in the runners and Pepe and Saka. It can really help us um, pursue in this game. So, for me, Alexander Lacazette has to start this game. Simple as that. I know his form has been a little bit shaky. But to be honest with you, if I had to pick him and Aubameyang right now on current form, it has to be, it has to be Alexander Lacazette. So, the tough part, the scoreline. For me, I feel there will be a lot of goals in this game. I feel like, you know, defensively, we are kind of better than Leeds. We are better than Leeds defensively. You've seen how many goals Leeds have shipped in. They shipped in as many goals as they scored. Excuse me. That's ridiculous. However, like I just said, Leeds like to play with a high line. They like to press. And I feel with us, it kind of suits us where we can kind of counter because we do like to sit back on the ball sometimes and wait and count on when it's time. So Leeds will have gaps open. However, we cannot take them lightly. So for me, I feel, you know, I've been thinking about this for the last 24 hours to 48, to 48 hours. I think I'm going to go with a 3 to win to Arsenal. I feel there'll be a lot of goals in this. But again, I feel this game, like I said, we need to win. There's no draws. I'm putting my neck out on the line for you guys. I'm going 3-2 to Arsenal. Guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section on this video and the scoreline and the starting lineup. Do you think Arsenal will win? Do you think Leeds will win? Do you think it'll be a draw? Let me know in the comment section and who, what particular players, Gooners, are you going to be looking at? Because like I said, Patrick Bamford, Rafinha, Rodrigo, Dallas. I mean, even Phillips in the midfield could be a problem. I mean, there's so many players in Leeds that we have to watch out for because they are no joke. Regardless of where they are on the table. And look, they're right. They, they, they're 11th. Do you know what I mean? Sorry, they're in front of us, in fact. So we're 11th. These are my marbles. We can't. We can't afford another loss because, again, we'll be back down where we were in the beginning of January. And that's the last thing we want. All right? So, yeah, guys, like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And uh, let me know your thoughts. And I'll be back with you guys after the game for the match reaction. So stay tuned. Peace.